In this video, I sit down with guitar playing breakthrough specialist Tom Hess to discuss and demonstrate the best ways to start finger picking guitar if you are a beginner. Hi, this is Simon Candy from AcousticGuitarLessonsOnline.net and in this lesson, myself and Tom Hess work through a number of tips for finger picking guitar, including the easiest way to develop great finger picking guitar technique. This is a foolproof method and super easy to do the common mistakes most people make when first beginning to finger pick guitar and the best ways to practice finger picking guitar for maximum gains. Watch until the end of the video to learn how you can take your finger picking to the next level. Let's get into it. How, how do you deal with uh, people in that situation, students, for example, or, or people that you've helped uh, who are not beginners as players generally, but then they they go to do some finger picking and they've got no skills in the in the picking hand you know what how do you just coach them along to get them going beyond the technical aspect of it sure so first off i focus on the the fundamentals because like any style it's the foundation the fundamentals that are, are most important because often a lot of issues that come up for people with anything so in this case finger picking um often you know the the issues come back to something in the basics if i've got someone coming to me who's played electric guitar can play guitar but wants to learn how to finger pick and you know as we've said it sort of feels like you're going down a little bit from where you've been at with your playing because it all feels sort of new again in a sense um I would start with with the hand position because I see people get that wrong all the time, and you know anything that comes as a result of that um, is is never going to really get fixed, and is going to continue to feel awkward, and you know all this excess tension and things will be coming through if we don't sort of sort out some of the basics. So I would start with the, the finger picking hand, and there's one particular way that is really good, and basically will guarantee you get your hand in the right position. And it's very simple. And it's because with your with your finger picking, you're going to use your thumb, your index, your middle and your ring fingers. What I get people to do is to get the three fingers and the thumb of the picking hand and to place them all on the third string of the guitar. So you've got your three fingers, one, two and three index, middle ring, all resting on that third string, the G, and your thumb is also resting on the string. And for the thumb to be on the string at the same time as the other three fingers, it's got to be in front of the, the index finger and, and the other three fingers. And that's that's crucial in terms of getting the right position for the finger picking hand. And in fact, once you've done that, your hand is pretty much in the right position. All you've got to do is take your thumb and move it to the bottom string and just rest it lightly on string six. The index can stay where it is on the third string. The middle finger can move up to the second string and, you, and your ring finger can come up to the first string. So you end up with the thumb on string six, index string three, middle string two, ring finger is on the first string. Your hand, when you look down at it from your viewpoint, you'll see your thumb is basically crossing over the index finger. So there's like a cross, if you like, or a little X formation when you look down with your thumb and your finger and your index finger, sorry. So a lot of the time people sort of just go to try and pluck the strings, they'll tip, and particularly if they've played before, they'll just go at it from a flat pick position. And so this puts the fingers at awkward angles to the strings and the thumbs behind the index finger and they're trying to sort of pick like this and it's very awkward and it's, it's never really going to work out too well your thumb is nice and straight too by the way you, you don't want to bend that thumb that sort of weakens the thumb you want to keep that thumb pretty much locked in place all the time what are common uh, mistakes i guess or common problems that that people run into if they're sort of new to finger picking or they're not that experienced what are some of the common mistakes that people make when trying to learn and master finger picking when they don't yet have much experience? Sure. So one is the hand just, just going at whatever, you know, feels natural, whatever feels easy um, is one thing for sure. And, you know, having the hand in the wrong position. Another is, um, you know, picking and pulling away from the strings as they pluck the strings, you know, it's this excessive 
movement and that's just tension that's just a result of tension you're not relaxing it's not efficient you know you might have your hand in the right position but if you're going to sort of do this every time you pluck a string it's not you know sort of the equivalent of big pick motions um the, it's all in the fingers we're not moving the wrist the, the elbow is still it's all just in the fingers sure sometimes you'll be you know have some sort of you know movement like that in certain um, situations but most of the time it's just going to be all in the fingers from the base knuckle of the finger when you're plucking the strings so there's excessive um, movements like that that I often see the other one is is just sort of not just the hand position and going with what feels easy but just using whatever finger feels easy there's no real set rule with which fingers play which strings overall for sure but there is a, a reference point a starting point if you like um, and that is that your thumb will play the lower or the bass strings the lower three strings of your guitar so typically your thumb will you know be reserved for notes that fall on the bass strings your index is playing the third string your middle finger is playing the second string and your ring finger is playing the first string now it's not a rule it's not like if i use my middle finger to pluck the first string that i'm doing something wrong it's, it's always about context but as a starting point and i would say with just typical sort of basic finger picking stuff you're going to more or less follow that for the most part but the thing is i find a lot of people either just sort of use one finger so that's very inefficient it's a little like just using one finger of your fretting hand would be pretty inefficient when you've got other fingers that can come into play so um, the other one is the ring finger. A lot of people tend to sort of ignore the ring finger. And I sort of see that in my experience with teaching this style, that it's a little bit like the equivalent of the pinky in the fretting hand. A lot of people sort of avoid using the pinky and, and just sort of favor one, two, and three, the stronger fingers. And the, the ring finger is a little bit sort of like the equivalent of that. And so people find the index and middle fingers are a little bit more comfortable to use. They got the thumb. You can sound great playing like that. There's some great players who don't use the, the ring finger so much, but I mean, it's there. Why not use it? There's a lot more that you can do with it. And um, the thing is with your fingers, they each have a different tone. Like I said before, they're, they're, it's, they're, it's like you got three picks or including the thumb, you got four picks and each finger has a unique tone about it. So sometimes I'll choose the finger with the tone it's going to give me. Some players will have their melody finger, you know, they'll use a particular finger for the melody. So I find, you know, just going with whatever fingers is not a great thing either. We want to have some sort of form to follow. And then from there, depending on what you're doing, yeah, sure. There'll be times when your fingers are playing on the lower strings and, you know, the fingers, three fingers, you know, interchange between the top three strings. I'm going to open it up to some uh, people in the chat here. have got some questions. Uh... So if you, those of you who are listening live, if you have other questions, go ahead and put them in the chat. And we'll try and get to some of those. But I'll start off with one question. You were referring, uh, Simon, to the nails uh, that you, you know, you have nails on your picking hand. Are you playing with the nails or is it a combination where this, the string is being struck uh, with the nail and the flesh of the finger? Is it a combination of the two? Or is it strictly all nails? It's it's a combination. So I would say it's it's roughly about 50-50, uh, flesh of finger versus nail. So it, let, let, let me just, for, for clarification, I know what you mean, but other people may not know. When you say it's 50-50 playing with the nails and playing with the flesh of the finger fingertip, I don't think you mean that half the time you're playing with your nails and the other half the time you're playing with the fingertip, but instead it's, it's a hybrid where you're playing with the, the nail when playing a single note, the note is plucked with the nail and the fingertip flesh at the same time. Is that correct? Yes, absolutely. Yep. At the same time you're plucking the string and you've got yet yeah, half of it sort of being sanded with the flesh of the finger and the other half with the, with the nail. So it's definitely not just nail. And it's definitely not just the flesh of the finger, unless you've got no nails um, there, and then yeah, that's fine. Um, so yes, and and with the nails too, if you if you're going to have 
have nails, I would first off, you'll need to file them. You'll need to round them uh, because the way your nails typically will grow, they'll get caught under the strings because they're not going to sort of, you, you've got to round and soften the edges. And uh, often if you have weak nails that break all the time, there is uh, things like uh, Nail Strengthener. Harome is a, a brand that I use. I don't use it that often because my nails are reasonably strong, but, but I do use it. So we got some questions in the chat. So Rich G is asking, uh, what is a good practice exercise? Now, I realize that question is asked in a very broad way, and I know you can't answer in, in all possible ways, but if you can help for someone wanting to get started, I don't know how experienced you are here, uh, Rich, but if do you have comments on that, just a general practice routine uh, or a good practice exercise to get the finger picking going, assuming I'm going to make the assumption that Rich may not have a lot of experience. So if you can answer the question in that, context yeah sure so i break it down i mean you can look at a lot of finger picking and it can look very complicated and like there's a lot of stuff going on but if you break it down to the you know absolute basics there's three approaches with your picking hand one is just plucking strings individually single notes at a time so you could be playing on a chord and just picking patterns. Um, you could even just be up and down. And just getting used to plucking the strings individually. The second approach is plucking notes together, multiple notes at a time. So if I'm just on a C chord again, I can just practice plucking all the strings together at the same time with my thumb and three fingers, or thumb and two fingers, depending on what, what I wanna play. And that's important to do because when you first do that, you're probably going to find some strings sort of ring out more than others or are stronger, louder than others. But with some practice, you'll get a nice even attack with your fingers across the strings that you're plucking. So plucking strings together um, or even just breaking up the bass with the top three fingers. So that's good to do. The other approach is pinching so it's notes together but it's it's just two notes of which one is being played with the thumb and the other is being played with one of the top three fingers so it's just pinching two notes together at a time so they're the three it doesn't get uh of course it can get more involved but if we just break it down that's what's happening at any given time it's 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 either one of those things or it's a combination of those things. So it's single notes, notes together, multiple notes being plucked together and pinching. So, you know, songs like Blackbird is, um, it's all pinching, you know, playing in tense. And it's got some single note in there as well. So if you work uh, some some uh, patterns based off those approaches, you're going to be covering all bases there. If you would like help with your finger picking, the kind of help that gets you results in the most direct, efficient, fun way possible, then check out the Ultimate Finger Picking Guitar Course, a complete system for finger picking acoustic guitar, so simple even a beginner can learn it. I've carefully designed this course to do all the heavy lifting for you as far as knowing exactly what to do, how to do it and when to do it in regard to mastering the art of finger picking guitar. All you have to do is follow the pathway I've laid out for you. In the Ultimate Finger Picking Guitar course, you will learn and master all the key concepts, methods, strategies, and techniques needed for finger picking. So you'll never put your guitar down in frustration again, thinking, how the hell do I do this? You will also discover the exact order in which to do things, avoiding the all too common mistakes most people make when learning to finger pick guitar, saving you precious time and frustration. Have your hand held every step of the way with the ultimate finger picking guitar course. It will take you from wherever you are at right now with your finger picking to where you would like to be. Enjoying every part of the process along the way. So click the link in the description below the video and check out the ultimate finger picking guitar course. 
Let me know in the comments section what acoustic guitar topics you would like to see covered in future videos. I read all comments and would love to hear your suggestions. If you like this video then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and of course hit the notification bell button so YouTube can tell you when I've released a new video. This is Simon Candy from AcousticGuitarLessonsOnline.net. Thank you for watching this video. As always I appreciate your time and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.